Chinese rip-offs of popular Western games is something that unfortunately happens quite a bit. For example, when Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was taking off, over in China, the creators Netties created a very, very similar game called Knives Out, which was pretty much Player Unknown's Battlegrounds but with a different name. Knives Out even included Player Unknown's Battlegrounds memorable phrase, winner winner, chicken dinner, word for word. This then led last year to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds suing Knives Out's creator, which was then settled out of court and the details of the settlement were not shared publicly. However, despite lawsuits like this, copycats, clones and rip-offs still goes on in China quite a lot. And that means when Among Us became gaming's next big sensation last summer, it was clear that some copycats and rip-offs was going to pop up over in China. Also, this is something that especially will be the case when Among Us doesn't include any Chinese localization. And that means Chinese gamers couldn't play the game with the language that they understand if they wanted to play the official version. And so today we'll be taking a look at the top five Chinese Among Us ripoffs. Also, all games listed in this video will be in the description in Chinese if you want to go check them out yourself. Number five, Werewolf Among Us. This is the most popular Among Us clone to come out of China so far, going on to become China's most popular game on the App Store and even beating Tencent's top titles. It's also the most original one on the list. The game has been given a werewolf theme, so that instead of there being an imposter among your ranks killing the crew and you needing to work out which player is is the imposter, it is instead a werewolf. The werewolf theme that the Chinese game has is also something that will come up a few other times in the video. And so first, here's why werewolf imposters are so common. Now, the game Among Us is actually based on an old real-life party game created by a Russian psychology professor at Moscow University. This game is called Mafia and was created in 1987 and shares many common themes to Among Us. Since 1987, however, different variations have popped up, including a werewolf theme one instead of the Mafia theme. The werewolf version is cited as being created in 1997 by interactive fiction creator Andrew Plotkin, and it's this version that ended up being especially popular over in China, even prior to Among Us. And so when it came time for the clones to pop up, some of them chose to have the imposters be werewolves instead. And so you can see various werewolf type graphics in the Chinese game. Alongside this, for Werewolf Among Us, whilst all gameplay mechanics are kept the same, the setting has been changed to a medieval castle, rather than a spaceship. The overall art style and character designs are also more cutesy in nature too. Alongside this, the activities that the crew have to perform have been modified to a more medieval castle theme as well, such as organising potions, stacking logs on a fireplace, and putting bricks into walls. Defeated players will no longer get sliced in half either, but as is normally the case for Chinese versions of games, the violence was toned down and players get bonked on the head instead. They are then left with a knocked out stars animation spinning around their head. And one more thing about about Werewolf Among Us is that it has voice chat, unlike Among Us which only has text chat. Number 4, Space Kill. Whilst Werewolf Among Us is the most popular Among Us clone, Space Kill is the second most popular. Space Kill is also much less original, keeping the game's spaceship theme and using the same activities that the crew need to complete. The main thing that makes it stand out, however, are the character designs, with everybody being a one-eyed alien. Also, again, instead of getting sliced in half, characters will get bonked on the head, like so. Like Werewolf Among Us, it also features voice chats too. Number 3, Space Werewolf. There aren't as many details about this game available, but as you can see, the store icon is very similar to the icon for Among Us. However, looking at these screenshots, the characters instead resemble small hooded aliens with pitch black faces. It isn't as popular as the others with it only having a few hundred reviews, but it is still rated 3.2 out of 5 stars. Number 2, Our Party, Werewolf Game 3D Version. A little more popular than the last, this game has a rating of 3.5 stars after over 600 reviews. This is another much much more direct copy of Among Us, with it being contained in a spaceship and completing similar tasks. However, there is one big difference and that's everything is now in 3D, both the level scenery as well as the character models. The characters now also wear spacesuits too, and it again has voice chat unlike Among Us. When characters get defeated in this version though, there's a slight punch animation and then the characters are just depicted lying on the floor without any damage or special effects. And then finally, number one, Werewolf Project. And then the final 
final entry is the biggest ripoff of them all to come so far, and this is also something that Chinese players aren't happy about as well. The game is only available on Android and not iOS, and on its TapTap -tap store page, the game has over 2200 people following the page for updates. However, it only has a community review score of 1.7 out of 10, and many of the comments are calling the developer out for not only copying Among Us, but then even going as far as to use art assets from another game too. The game characters are a combination of gangster characters as well as a few more quirky designs. These character designs have all been taken from another game though, this being the shooting game Little Gunfight 2. And so not only is this game an Among Us copy, but a very lazy copy of another game too. Aside from that, everything else is kept very similar to Among Us, with the same tasks and the spaceship setting. Once again though, voice chat is included, which is a highly requested feature that's still missing from Among Us without the use of third party mods. What do you think about these Chinese copies of Among Us? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, thank you for watching.